In this particular video, we're going to discuss some predictions of what I expect to see in the future of the Pokemon XY anime series. Pokemon! 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 Hello everyone, I'm Dustin Bizzle, and welcome to another edition of Pokemon XY Anime Discussion. Today, as I said, we're going to discuss uh, predictions of the future, and today we're going to talk about the... We're going to talk about a lot of things. Um, this video was slightly inspired by KG Prestige's opening predictions spo uh, speculation and stuff, so I wanted to go ahead and do something like that as well. So as for the opening, what I want is the opening to occur after Olympia. Not after a lawn or sometime in November or December or something of that nature, but definitely after Olympia. And the reason why I want something like that is because it would just make sense that that should be when the new opening occurs. Now, I've already said that I would really like it if we got some Olympia gem spoilers and maybe we saw Frogadier evolving into Greninja or something to that effect. And as much as I would like an opening to represent, to be created before the Olympia gym battle, and I would be perfectly okay with that, I just don't see it being a likely possibility. Now, if you don't know, in the current opening right now, um, the opening is revolved around Hoopa, I believe. I believe the Hoopa is the opening uh, with the V-Volt, or no, not V-Volt. Um, Gets our bad, bad. There we go. All the scenes pretty much appear to be the Hoopa movie. And that means we're kind of missing out on basically the ordinary opening uh because this occurred like what the 23rd or the 16th something like that in regards to the movie um i don't know one of those was definitely a break i think that was the 16th so maybe the 23rd um so i feel like we're going to get maybe five more episodes of possibly the opening with the hoopa scenes and we'll probably get something probably September 10th, 17th, or 24th. Of course, that would be before Olympia because the EV capture is going to occur September 17th, if I'm not mistaken, or September 10th. So there's still a quite a few ways away there. So maybe we'll get a new opening after Eevee's capture, and then everything will change, and the opening will change. Now... Do I want like a remix like Megavolt or do I want a completely brand new opening with a brand new song? I'm perfectly fine with either as long as we get some new, new animation and specifically something that is spoiler heavy, such as possibly Elan and Marin in the opening, maybe Trevor, Shauna, and Tierno might be in the opening, maybe we'll get some other interesting things of that nature in the opening as well. But prefer what I'm looking for the most is even though I expect if Charizard, if Ash's Charizard is coming back and it is going to be Mega Charizard Y versus Mega Charizard X, Ash versus Elon, then I expect that to be in the first part of the uh, new opening. It's going to be Charizard in it, assuming of course Charizard Y happens to be Ash's. If Ash does not get Mega Charizard Y, even despite the Dragon Tail connection, that would also possibly be nice because then we might be able to know what Ash's last Pokemon is, whatever it is. I know what I want it to be, even though it doesn't make any sense, and I've already discussed this in some of the forums that uh, it may not matter, but I'm not going to repeat what I've said because you probably already know what I want. Yeah, you probably saw like a half a second flash of the Pokemon I want. Doesn't make any sense. It would be detrimental to his team right at this moment, but I, at this point I'm not really sure I care too much. So anyway, uh, what else do I expect in the opening? 
I don't really expect if there are going to be spoilers. I expect if Greninja does not happen in Olympia, then I almost expect to see Greninja in the opening, and maybe we won't get a six Pokemon for Ash, because maybe that won't actually happen. I mean, surely we would have gotten some kind of spoiler by now uh, in regards to Ash's final Pokemon, unless it's going to be really a long time before it gets it. I do... Really hope that Ash does get this particular Pokemon before Wolfric, and sometime right after Olympia, because we all know that Olympia is in the um, upcoming episodes preview, so there doesn't seem to be a lot of room for Olympia to just show up, <laughs> or the six Pokemon to show up. Not Olympia, not Olympia, no. Um... So that's what I expect in terms of the opening. A lot of good spoilers, some good animation. Oh, but I didn't exactly discuss. Do I want a new, new opening or just a remix opening? Um, preferably, I'd probably say that I would want a new, new opening. Now, KG Prestige said in his video that he wants, like, Rika Matsumoto, the, uh, the Japanese voice of... Ash or Satoshi, and that's perfectly fine with me. I, I don't have any problem with Rika because Rika does have some really great openings and stuff. I can't really give you any examples, but yeah, she's really good at singing, and it would be nice to hear her again. And I don't remember the last time she did the opening. It may have been Black and White, which was kind of a great opening song. It's just that the animation for black and white was really awful because it was 3D animation and it was outdated after episode 13 and it didn't get updated until Best Wishes Season 2. So throughout the whole entire series we had, or entire first half of the series because Roxy was the last episode before Best Wishes Season 2 occurred in the Japanese that's how long we had that opening, and I think it was Rika. If I'm wrong, I'll put text saying that I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was Rika, and while it was a great song, it was just horribly outdated, and we had it for so long. So hopefully we'll get a new, new opening, and I'm fine with Rika. What I want in terms of animation and in the style of the song is I want something that's really upbeat. I don't want something that kind of has a somber tone to it. I can't really think of an example, but um, may maybe the dub version of the current series of Pokemon XY and the dub is something we want to avoid. Because I don't think that's too upbeat. I think it's kind of um, less, it's like mellow and it's kind of annoying. I mean, I didn't exactly like the remake of uh, the first Pokemon theme opening the dub ever had. And for the XY first series, but at least it was a little bit more tolerable than the second season XY dub song. So, well, whatever um, about that. So, in terms of animation, like I said, want some spoiler spoilers, spoilers. Yeah, I want some spoilers in that opening. No, some spoilers. I also like to um, see some really nice animation. What I really like is if they do focus on, of course, the group's Pokemon. In, in DP, Diamond and Pearl, at the te at like the second, the last two endings, I believe, or the openings, last two openings, in the um, D Diamond and Pearl series, they revolved around Ash's Pokemon in some fashion, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, I think they showed up in some fashion. I think in one, they like... J ran towards the screen or something, and I think that was the, um, I don't think it was high touch, but maybe, it, I think the opening had a map in the beginning, and there was a boat, and they were sailing on it, and there was, like, grottle and stuff like that, and, um, or something of that nature, and, um, they just, they started running towards the screen, you would have, like, Chimchar, or Monfer, or just Chimchar, using Flamethrower, grottle, just running towards the screen, and, Star Raptor, I think, using, like, Brave Bird or something. Pikachu using, like, Quick Attack or Volt Tackle. And then, in, like, the very last opening, I don't know if that was the second to last one, but in the very last opening, we got really nice portrait shots of all of Ash's Pokemon. I'd really like to see that again. You know, I'd like to see, like, um, 
Talonflame, Pikachu, Noibat, or Greninja, or whatever the evolved forms are at this point. I think that would be really cool. If not the portrait forms that we saw in the begin in the opening, the last opening, then something similar. You know, just just have a shot of Ash and all of his current Pokemon, and then we'll just be fine with that. Or I'll be fine with something like that. If it was possible, I wouldn't mind something for Serena and Clement and Bonnie. You know, it wouldn't it wouldn't bother me if they had something similar. I'm also okay with what they currently did with the current opening, uh, outside of the Hoopa scenes and stuff where they called out their Pokemon and they had their Pokemon shots. As long as the Pokemon get themselves get a lot of focus and we know who's who and maybe we'll see Ash's final Pokemon of the sixth generation uh, before the league. Something of that nature. So... And that pretty much covers the opening uh, that I think. Um, as for any sort of remix, I'm perfectly fine with that as well. Um, like Mega Getter Ban Ban or something of that. I'm perfectly fine with something of that nature. But as long as we get some really nice new opening scenes and everything, completely different. Completely different. Nothing similar. Nothing, nothing updated. I don't want... Talent flame to just show up in the oh, in the original get our band band opening basically you know and it's just replacing Fletch and no I actually want to see new scenes speaking of I w speaking of which I almost think that the ending should also be new I don't know when the ending occurred I definitely know the ending is a lot newer than the opening but I also expect the ending to be changed as well. Uh, because the ending, uh, well, Eevee hasn't really appeared yet, so maybe the ending still has a while to go. Um, the ending is definitely a lot is definitely a lot newer than the opening because that had Noibat and Eevee straight up from the bat, and we got the ending like right after um, the Lumios gym battle. Um, that's when we got Gudra in the um, no, that's when we got Noibat in the opening was right after the Lumios gym. I can't recall when the ending happening. I'll make some text note, but or whatever. But it's definitely not newer because we knew about Noibat and Eevee. Uh, we knew someone was going to capture them, so clearly it wasn't right after the Lumios gem. I think it was before, sometime around there that we got that new ending and the little monsters or whatever. Gago, I'm the monsters or however you like to call it. So anyway, that covers that. Um, I think the ending is going to last just a little bit longer, probably. We'll get one, uh, something new for November, maybe even December. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Or even January of next year. But probably, probably somewhere in November and December, we'll probably get a new ending, since it'll probably be around the time we should get a new ending. Um, as for upcoming episodes, like I said, the Eevee is the last thing we know. We don't even have a title for that. The last title I said is the Tyrant episode, Bonnie, do your best. Take care of the pampered Tyrant or something like that. And then right after that is, of course, the Diggersby episode, which, um, as my speculation of before said, is probably going to be an anti-evolution episode. And Bunnelby is going to refuse to evolve, and Clement's probably going to be happy with Bunnelby as is. I guess we'll have to see if that ends up being the case. Then, after that is, of course, the Eevee episode, and then I feel like right after that, since we have nothing else in the upcoming episodes, uh, since it's a serious noibat focus episode they want to keep secret just a little bit longer, I expect the next episode after Eevee to be Olympia and... Hopefully we'll get an evolution for Frogadier. I, I don't. I, I have my doubts. I have my serious doubts. I just don't think they would. But because of the opening or because of the upcoming episodes preview and the appearance that Frogadier seems to be battling both Meowstic, it would make a lot of sense for Frogadier to evolve. I have no problem with Frogadier taking both, taking out both Meowstic at one time, but it'd be more interesting to see that Ash is struggling heavily and then he evolves and then the gym leader is struggling because Greninja is immune to psychic type attacks. I really would like that to happen. I don't really expect it to happen, but it'd be nice. After Olympia, of course, uh, so I don't know when Olympia is probably going to appear, 
probably the end of September, maybe September 24th or October 1st. And then sometime around 8, 15, 22 of October will probably when the Mega Evolution Act 4 special will come out, assuming it hasn't already got a release date. If it has got a release date, I'll make a note right here. If not, I guess it'll just be speculation for now. And then probably at the end of October and the beginning of November, we're probably going to get, of course, the Elan arc within the XY series, and then, and then after that, we're probably going to get some more fillers, some possibly development episodes. We might get a really cool evolution or a capture in December. That's probably November, December, sometime after Olympia. If Olympia is around October 1st, then I expect um, between the 8th of October and uh, December 24th, possibly, because I'm pretty sure the 31st is probably going to be a break, the uh, New Year break, or even the 7th. So somewhere around there, from the October 8th to probably December 17th is probably when I'll predict when Ash will get a new Pokemon. Assuming, of course, Charizard doesn't show up in this particular new opening that might uh, happen in September. So then January, I pro probably is just going to be a couple more episodes, probably some Serena Focus episodes in those ep uh, dates that I mentioned before as well. Um, so then I think we might get Wolf Frick probably in February of 2016, uh, or even the early March of whatever. And then, um, and then of course... Oh yeah, I forgot. Serena is supposed to have an upcoming Pokemon showcase. Yeah, that's right. Um, I don't. Hmm. So if Serena is indeed supposed to have an upcoming Pokemon showcase, and let's say she gets her second one, and maybe she'll get her third one. Maybe she'll fill out another one, and then she'll get her final one in, like, March. And then I think right after that, there's probably going to be some heavy focus development episodes, probably, with rivals. Maybe we'll get something for Sawyer. That's right. His name is no longer Scotty. The dub decided to call him Sawyer. Originally, I had a problem with uh, Shoda's uh, dub name being Sawyer, but I think I'm over it by now. I was very disturbed by the fact, the fact that the dub named him Sawyer. Scotty would have been per perfect. But I guess it's Sawyer, so maybe we'll get some Sawyer episodes in here. Tierna episodes, Shauna. All sorts of good things. So then after that, of course, this will all change depending on the next Game Freak games, of course. Whatever is possibly revealed already at this particular point in January 2006 or... February 2006 or March 2016 or April 2016, whatever is revealed at that particular moment, my speculation will change completely. But basically, I expect May, June, July, and August to possibly revolve around the league. I don't know if there's going to be 20 episodes possibly, but probably around 10, 12 episodes for the league. And then... The, uh, like I said, the master class would have been before the league, so then sometime in September is when we're probably going to get an ending here. There's five se there's five Thursdays in September. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the games were released, what, October of something? So, yeah, I think October 2016 is probably when we'll get the new games coming out and that will determine what's going to happen in this series. Now, I almost expect that the games are not going to be released until we get like a special new opening and basically uh, it'll be the, for the new gen generation 6.5 games or even uh, just generation Z or whatever you want to call it whatever you want to consider it so yeah I expect a uh, the new games come out and that'll either determine whether or not we get the next generation of the next generation of anime or we'll get a year of filler and 
that's pretty much all I have for upcoming stuff as for anything further like November 2016 or December 2016. I wouldn't know because depending on whether or not we get Generation 7 or 6 Generation continues for another year until 2017, I'm not really sure. It could be anything. It could be the new Generation series, Ash travels to the Hoyuka region or whatever. I don't know what it would be. The Hayukuri region and he meets some girl, some guy, they travel and some things happen. Ash gets his first Pokemon in that particular region. Or maybe we'll just get some sort of filler saga. And like I suggested before, if we are getting a filler year, I really want Ash to, to have some sort of goal. I won't have a problem with Serena having another showcase tournament going along and stuff because that would really help. But what I do not want is I want nothing to do with a version 2.0 of Episode N and Declore Islands. I do not want a repeat of that because they did jack squat in that series. That little filler before the next... You know, they could have evolved, they could have evolved Snivy, they could have evolved Oshawott, Ash could have brought back his Gibble and evolved it into Gabite, possibly. There could have been so many potential possibilities. They even could have had a small battle tournament or a couple of battle tournaments in the meantime to make up the space. I mean, I won't entirely dismiss Episode N because at least Episode N revolved around the uh, Team Plasma and so there was at least that going for it, but there still should have been a lot more than what they gave us. It was just basically filler after filler. Technically filler, but part of the storyline, you know, it's just... The only episodes that I truly ever liked during that series was when Charizard came back. Charizard and Crocodile being in that episode in Team Plasma episode where Crocodile looked out, was surprised, and then Charizard wore it out of it. And then afterwards is anything that has Alexa in it, you know, with the next generation, because it was like, because Alexa was what brought a fresh, a breath air in that end of Declore Islands arc, or whatever it was. She gave a fresh, a breath air into the series, and it was a lot, really, not, a lot better. So... That's pretty much covers my predictions for now. Of course, if we get a new opening and there's a lot of stuff there, I will discuss it. Any other uh, summaries, titles, and stuff of that nature, I will of course discuss it. It's probably going to be probably it's probably going to be until Olympia before I can get um, any more predictions done in terms of the XY anime series, unless we get some really juicy mega spoilers really really soon so oh by the way uh, there is a non-clear image of the actual blob Pokemon that we've been talking about in my previous videos um, the thing that you probably already seen uh, an image of we actually saw an actual image of it somebody took a screenshot of it in the movies um, the only thing I have to say about that is the more I look at it, the more I look think it looks more like Zygarde. And that I really think that if this is a brand new Pokemon, it's going to have a heavy symbiotic relationship with Zygarde. Potentially being Zygarde's sentry or scout, basically, or psychic eyes, I guess you could say. Psychic vision, basically, because it can psychically connect or whatever. So... Uh, for what you can expect for the upcoming uh, for upcoming episodes or videos on my Pokemon, um, there is a Pokemon discussion coming up that I am going to discuss. I, I mean, I'm not going to make it right now or after this particular video. It's probably going to be either tomorrow or the next day that I make it, but it's going to be revolving around two topics. It'll be a mega video that are definitely combined. So, basically, the next video is going to be, we're going to discuss Malva and a theory revolving around Malva that might actually happen if the next generation, or the next Game Freak games actually end up being um, Generation 6.5 or Pokemon Z or whatever it might end up being. 
And also, I am going to discuss certain things about the storylines of future games as well, such as what I think of this particular thing happening or whatever. So, anyway, I think this pretty much covers this particular video. So, thank you for watching. I'm Dustin Menzel, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.